Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Andrew McDonald from Glidefast Consulting and today I'm going to provide a quick overview of ServiceNow's Agile Story Module. In this video I'll explain how to create a brand new user story, associate the story to sprints, releases, and other related records, as well as manage that story throughout its life cycle. So without further ado, let's get started. Once you are successfully logged in, type in Agile in the application navigator to your left to find the Agile development application. From there, click on the Stories module. This will bring you to a list of the stories that have been created. Click the New button in the top left corner of your screen. You will be taken to the story form. Here, you can provide details of your story, such as the theme, the epic, the state, more on that later the story points or level of effort, the sprint the story will be pulled into, the product currently being developed or enhanced, the release the story will be a part of, the group and user the story will be assigned to, the project the story might be associated to, as well as the project's phase, the original task the story was created from, whether the story is blocked, and if selected, the reason for blocking the story, the short description, description, and finally, the acceptance criteria for accepting the story as done. Note that while only the short description is required, it is also recommended to complete the description and acceptance criteria if possible. Once you've filled in the appropriate details of the user story, click Save to stay on the form or submit to return to the story list. Now, let's navigate back to the user story you've created. You'll notice certain tabs, related links, and related lists are now visible. The Notes tab allows you to post comments and work notes, as well as view the activity of the story record over time. The Related Records tab allows you to associate the user story to an existing defect or enhancement. In the related links section, you are able to add scrum tasks in bulk, convert the story into an epic you can use to group additional stories, create a copy of the story, or split the story into two or more smaller stories. The final section of the story is related lists. This section allows you to create and or associate scrum tasks and any prerequisite or dependent stories to your existing story. Scrum tasks may be used to track analysis or development effort related to the story, while any story predecessors or dependencies may be tracked using the prerequisite or dependent stories related lists. Now that we've covered the form in its entirety, let's cover the story's life cycle by reviewing the state values. The default state is draft, which means the story has not been fully groomed and not yet ready for development. Once ready for development, move the state to ready. When development has started, move the state to work in progress. And when it has completed, move the state to ready for testing. When testing has commenced, move the state to testing. When the story has been accepted as done, move the state to complete to signify the code is now ready for production. If at any point the user story becomes no longer necessary, move the state to canceled. A couple of things to note about the story states. First, you can move from one state to another, such as from ready to canceled to draft at any time without restrictions. Second, unlike an incident, the story form does not become read-only in canceled or complete state and can be edited at any time. So that is the story module in a nutshell. We learned how to create a user story associated to other related records and manage it throughout its life cycle. Thanks for watching.